This one's for the girls at the Berkshire Guild of Spinners, Weavers and Dyers. It's a simple one this month, but it's a very useful one because the technique forms the basis for a number of projects. Very often, when I finish a project, I'll have short lengths of cord left over. Rather than throw them away, I often tie simple zip pulls with such leftovers. I've got a length of cord here which was surplus to requirements when finishing off a bell rope. It's about one metre in length. I'll fold it, fold it in half and put the two working ends away from me. The bit closest to me I'll refer to as the tail. I'm tying a simple overhand knot in one of the ends that I'll be working with. It doesn't matter which end but I'll do it on the right hand one here. With the two ends away from me I'll take the one with a knot in it and make a loop before taking the end over the tail to the other side. Now take the other end pass it down over the end with a knot in it, pass it behind the tail and bring it up through the loop formed by the first end. Make sure that this end goes behind the tail. This is the most common mistake, letting it slip over the tail. The other common mistake is not making sure that the end comes up through the loop after passing behind the tail. At this point tighten things up a little. It's not possible to get the knot really tight until I've tied the next sequence. The time process is repeated now. Take the knotted end and pass it over the tail. Then take the other end and first take it over the knotted part before going behind the tail and up through the loop at the other side. Now things can be tightened up properly. It's easy from now on take the knotted end over the tail, take the other end down of the knotted part, round behind the tail and up through the loop. You'll notice that I periodically tighten everything up by holding the knot and pulling on the tail. And again the knotted end over tail, the other end down over the knotted part, behind the tail and up through the loop at the other end. I keep repeating this tying sequence until I've got the length of knot that I desire. Another tug on the tail I think I'll tie one more sequence. Let's finish things off then. Some folks will actually thread the ends back through the centre of the knot before snipping off the ends. Personally, I like to keep things simple. Snip the ends so that they're about a quarter of an inch long now I'll melt the ends and flatten them against the end of the knot. Of course, that'll work with cords such as paracord or polypropylene, but not with cords such as cotton. With cord that doesn't melt, you'll either have to hide the ends through the centre of the knot, or perhaps put a blob of glue on the ends. This can now be used as a zip pull, but I'm going to loop the tail through a split ring and use it as a key fob. I'm sure you can think of other applications. This is a yellow key fob. I could use yellow for 
house keys, another colour for car keys, another colour for work keys, whatever. As always, thanks for watching.